Well, not quite a lion. We just the lion is still here, but we just spotted a black-shouldered kite hovering in this what is now northwesterly wind. And what it's doing, I haven't told you this for a long time, is it's looking for the ultraviolet that is reflecting off the uric acid that comes off a rodent's urine trail. So when the rodents run around in the grassland, they urinate as they go to mark their territory. That reflects ultraviolet light and that very clever bird, the black-shouldered kite, is able to see the ultraviolet light and that is how it traces and trails the rodents that it's going to catch. Isn't that clever? And it's one of the very few birds in the, or very few raptors, that is able to hover like that. And often they have to flap their wings to hover, but because the wind is quite strong and quite consistent from the northwest there, every time he turns into the wind he's actually able to just hang like he's doing there. That's unusual. Just the odd flap. Isn't that brilliant? He's really high up. I mean, to be able to see any kind of rodent from that sort of distance up in the sky is quite a feat. And I will tell you while you look at the bird, because I think the bird is slightly more impressive than the lion at this stage, our lion did actually have a kill. He found uh, the carcass that he'd been feeding on, and he gave a sort of a perfunctory bite at it every so often. Oh, you saw that, of course. And then he left it again, and now he's sitting straight back on the termite mound where we very first saw him. He's got a little bit of blood on his face. And I thought we might leave him. But I actually think that as it gets darker, <laughs> well, I don't know, every time I think that we might leave him, he gets up and does something. We might leave him as it gets dark and head down and see if we can't find some other lions. But I think for now, let's stay with him, just in case he gets up and does something useful again. Because I think if the opportunity presents itself, he will almost certainly kill, or try to. All right, the sun has gone down below the Olulolo escarpment here at the moment, but Tristan's sun down south has not, and he'd like to show you it on its way.